well, really very early on when we formed, uh, about two years ago, the band was uh, sort of got, got together after I'd just come back from the States. I had a bunch of songs, knew these other boys and said, let's form a group. And uh, I think that's sort of maybe been played down now, sort of as time's gone by. Mm -hmm. um, so it was just an inspiration for writing a few songs at the beginning. That was really it, uh, apart from the name which was really a coincidence. It wasn't really like a deliberate American thing. That, that was a, believe it or not, it was a question in Trivial Pursuits, uh, which was um, who, who, well, it wasn't who performed, but who, who took care of the first uh, live assassination on TV, which was Jack Ruby when he ran out and, and shot Lee Harvey Oswald, which was on the news all over America in 1963. So we thought that was, uh, I don't know, we liked the sound of it. And uh, when you first start off, a little bit of controversy is sometimes good for a, a bit of press. And, Stuff, so. I don't think we're sort of deadly serious about singing, singing about you know people getting shot and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Wipe that smirk off your face, boy. American country influences as well seem to be fairly yeah. strong lyrically, at least. Yeah. Um, um, I've always been a fan of country and western music. Stand by you, man. No, not that one. No, I mean, I don't, I, I've always liked the way that people sing in country and western music, and uh, um, sometimes the lyrics are, are kind of so appalling that it's, it's you know, they're kind of nice. Um, and we had a lot of records like that around our house when I was a kid, and that's probably got something to do with it as well. I think sexual intercourse is the main subject matter. But, How um, unusual. But, um, no, I think, you know, calling a song Wrecker of Engines, I, another person I like very much who's very English was Mark Bolan. And uh, I, I was thinking in terms of, like, when he sings, you know, um, girl, I'm just a jeepster for your love. I mean, what does that mean? I thought, I thought, I came up with this phrase, Wrecker of Engines, and I thought uh, that was sort of in keeping with the T-Rex type of lyric. And I, I'm very fond of that kind of stuff. <laughs> Clean across just as the neck descended. I'm a sandman, I'm a soldier, I'm a wrecker of engines. I'm a glad man when I hold you, a wrecker of engines. We got this band together because we like what we're doing, and I think we should, without trying to sound kind of pompous about it, we should please ourselves first. Um, and if other people like it, that's great. And uh, so far, some people seem to have liked it. But I mean, if, if the day ever came when we were being pushed into recording the types of songs that weren't really us, I think that would be the time to give up. I'm a grown man, but I have a heart of a child, a wrecker of engines. Listen to this. <laughs> I think, we're, I think any, anybody who's in a group that's ever made a record is fooling themselves if they say they don't want to reach as many people as they can. Given that, I think you have to try and keep some control over, you know, what you're doing. Um, it's not always easy. Even at the stage we're at now, we get we get bullied by some of the people who, who kind of uh, um, invest the money in this to do certain things. And you have to kind of be certain of your, you know, your convictions. Um, I think it's I think it's possi perfectly possible to to uh, accomplish you know a high level of success and still produce fairly raucous on sort of mainstream sort of records and you can still sneak in there. I mean, I think people, bands like The Wonder Stuff and a few other bands have sort of sneaked into the charts and they, it's pretty raunchy stuff and we'd like to keep that age as well. So at the end of the day, what do you hope for uh, as the future unfolds for the group? Lots of money and no compromise. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, we, we, we think we, we should be doing this for a living. Um, and I thought we were. Well, we... <laughs> <laughs> What, you haven't made any money yet? You're, you're like you've been lying to me. You're rotter. Well, you know. Um, oh, right, right. I did have to lie about that just true, a long time. True, true, yeah, yeah. But, uh, Where's your wallet? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think um, we, we want to keep on doing what we're doing. That's why we formed the group. We can stick to what we uh, formed the group for and uh, maybe make a buck or two out of it. That's OK. Just one or two. Steam train, 